Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a tutorial on how to achieve these absolutely stunning nail extensions using a kit from the brand BT Art Box. So let's get right into the video. All right, so previously on my channel, I actually did a review of their French full coverage tips. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing um, sort of the same type of video, except with a different style of tips that they offer. So these are just plain full coverage tips. I have pink and also nude ones, and today I feature the pink uh, colors. And I'm just going to be sharing the basic application of this product. So here I'm just going to go ahead and open up the package of tips. Um, it was a little bit difficult, but anyway, once you get them open, you can see that there are a bunch of different sizes and they do come in these um, pretty big sheets. So there are definitely a lot of options for the tips. And these are in a nice medium almond shape. I really like the look of them. And here is the gel glue that I'm going to be using to apply these. So before you actually go in with the application of the tips, you want to make sure your nails are accurately prepped. So I'm going to start with a layer of a dehydrator, and this is really just going to take off any of the excess oil on the nail plate to make sure the tips can really stick to my nails. Now in the case of this video, I am going to be applying a peel off base coat just because I don't want these nails to last long. However, if you actually wanted to wear these nails, I would recommend following the layer of dehydrator with a primer and then also going in with a thin layer of a gel base coat to really get the best adhesion possible. But in my case, I'm just applying a thin layer of my peel off base coat and then letting that dry completely before moving on. Now I'm going to go ahead and size out the tips to my nails. So basically when you're doing this, you just wanna make sure the tip fits nicely around the cuticle area and also reaches from sidewall to sidewall. You definitely don't want the tip to be too small, so it's always better to pick a larger size tip and then file down the sides or cuticle area if necessary. And once I have properly sized out all of my fingers, the process for taking them off of the sheet is pretty easy. You just have to bend them up and down and they will pop off nice and easily. So here's another look at the gel I'm going to be using. This one is a little bit thicker and I do find it works really good for application because the tips aren't going to slide around on you. So I'm just taking a nice small bead of the gel and placing that towards the cuticle area of my tip. And then once I have a decent amount of the gel product inside, I'm going to start by pressing the nail onto the uh, actual nail at a 45 degree angle towards the cuticle area. And then I'm gently pressing down to spread out the gel towards the tip. And once I'm happy, I'm just going to pop that under an LED light for 30 seconds to cure. Now, I know that might sound like a little bit of a process, um, but as you can see from the video, it's actually pretty simple. I think some of the most important tips I have are to really make sure you have the right amount of gel in the tip. This takes some getting used to because you don't exactly know how much you're going to need and it completely depends on the size of the nail you're doing and the length of your natural nail. So I just recommend um, testing it out and trying it and getting used to how it feels and you will slowly get the hang of how much you need to put in the tip. Another one of my biggest suggestions is to make sure that you press down at a 45 degree angle. This really helps um, the gel not spill out towards the cuticle area and get an even spread throughout the entire nail. So I'm just going to continue popping these on and curing them under my lamp. And then after I have cured all of the nails under this small lamp, I do usually go in with a full 60 second cure under a larger lamp to really make sure all of the nails are nice and secured on. And then at this point after curing, you could go ahead and file the nails to any shape you like. Personally, I was really happy with the shape just out of the box. I did go ahead and gently file down that part on the tip of the nail where it was attached to the larger sheet of nails just because there was a little bit of a bump. But honestly, like the shape is really perfect. Um, I was very impressed with how nicely they looked right out of the box with zero filing. 
and since I was so happy I'm just going to seal them in with a nice layer of a gel top coat and this is just really to add a beautiful shine and then I'm going to cure one more time for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. You can also totally go ahead and apply a gel polish color, even a dip powder on top of these extensions if you really wanted to. Um, it definitely is up to your personal preference. And I also do think they look stunning alone, as that's what I did in this video. So you can really do whatever you want with these nails. And after curing the top coat for a full 30 seconds, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my Happy Cuticle Coat Oil. And here is a finished look at the stunning nail extensions I was able to create from this kit from BT Artbox. I absolutely love how these nails turned out. These extensions are very affordable and easy to apply, and I would totally recommend them to you guys. So as always, everything will be linked below in case you are interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.